Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. So before we are going to start about uh, today's topic, I just want to tell you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and as, and as well as please watch my all the content, all the videos uh, of RPA entirely so that you will understand what exactly RPA is and what is automation anywhere. So my today's topic is like how to read data from text or CSV file and we need to import into Excel. So this is a very interesting task and uh, this task will definitely help you to work when you will be like working on automation anywhere because this is usually we used to do in every live project. So I will show you one showcase, one short demo where I will cover you how to first I will show you how to read data from text and uh, CSV file and the second I will show you how to export into Excel and how we can pass the variables. So let's go with the today's topic. So this is my automation anywhere screen you can see we'll start with the new workbench. This is my new workbench. So I want to show you, I have already prepared two demo for you, which I am going to show you. This is one TXT file. And in this TXT file, we have two columns called names and games. Like it will define what are the name of the player and what are the game they used to play. And this is my blank Excel file. It does not contain anything this notepad we are going to extract and put it in this excel file so let me open this one for time being let me go to my screen this is my screen so i will start with you can see there is a command called read from csv and text file every time whenever you will read any data like CSV or text file, you need to take this command. We will take this command. For time being, I am showing you the text file because I have already created one text file. So let me tell you something about this. This is the place where we will define the path. And this is delimited. Delimiter means like new line or whether it has any comma, tab, or any other other function if you can. Trim is like leading any space or trailing space. Session is, is very important to define the session. So you should define, you should definitely give your session. You can see here it's written F2 insert variable variable where we will insert, we'll insert in path. Let me tell you the two things I will show you. First of all, I will go to my file where I have stored this one I will take the path and put it here you can define in this way delimiter how will you understand see my delimiter is comma so I will select here comma leading space trim you can select you cannot select that's depend on you that depend on scenarios session i will always give as session one as it is the session one so let me tell you once again as i have already told you previously like session is always defining the path we don't have to give path every time just we will define the session and in every page you will find there will be the defined session which represent the path Let's save it. So what you can see in my screen is like when we save it, we can see there is a loop command which showing each row in CSV text file session one. It, it is a default whenever you are reading any file from CSV or text file, uh, loop command will definitely appear so that uh, how it relate to csv file i i'm gonna show you better 
and below that you can see there is a comment use file data column variable for each record in file whatever record we have here we need to define this variable this is predefined variable from automation anywhere and this is why i prefer to work in automation anywhere because it is so much reliable and user friendly that you can understand from here like if a person who doesn't know who has initially learning automation anywhere for him it is very easier to understand how and what are the variable we need to pass let me save it i will give it like text file to excel but one more thing i want to show you as we have defined the path over here if you want to make it a dynamic this is a static one for dynamic you need to go to this variable manager before that copy this path add I will mention file path we will put value as this path how I need to pass here I will remove this f2 I will pass my variable here see now you can see this is the dynamic way this is the proper way uh, very soon I am going to cover all the things like how you can defined in a proper format but for as of now this is just a basic and we can run this file but we can't see the output because we don't have anything to show so what i will do i will add one message tab over here in the message tab i am going to add my variable if I need to write here, I can write anything, but I don't have to because as we are extracting data from notepad, so notepad already contain data. So what exactly we need to do, we need to pass the variable. So what is my variable? You can see it in comment. It's written file data columns. So what I'm going to do is creating F2. We'll go and search that file data column. This is my file data column i will add it i will put the value as one why one you can see we have two columns names and games so first is name second is game i will save it but i want to define the two column if you want to define one column it is okay i want to give space i want to give one again i will define the same thing And I want to give the column as two this is for my second column. So now I'm gonna save you and I will show you the result. You can see the first adding is names and games. Let me place okay. You can see the names and the games. So now you have learned like how we can uh, read the data from a notepad the same like the CSV file also as I don't have CSV file currently but definitely I will come up with that example as well. So this is how but the processor is same you can see how we can read the data. Now we have to import into excel file so before that let me disable this one I don't need any message tab over here everything I need it what I need to go to Excel we need to open the spreadsheet session I will define as session 2 as I have de already defined session 1 file path I will give it
but better I should pass the variable okay leave it better I should pass the variable for Excel as well we Excel path why I'm writing we we is defining the variable Sheet. This will be my Excel path specific seat name. I don't have to because I have only one seat contain header. It's that's fine. I don't have any issue with this one. Now, after defining this part, now we need to go to we will use go to cell go to cell means we are defining which cell we are going to start as you can see in my excel path we are always going to start from the first tab it's like a1 so my excel path i need to define that I want to go to start from A1. So what I will give here is go to cell. It will give a command like it will always start with A1. So I will give the specific cell as A1. We'll save it. And these two I need to put it over. Why? Because it's uh, best practice to open the Excel file first, then we need to read the file, then we need to import the notepad file and put it into Excel, which we will use loop command loop. It will help you to do a repetitive task. Please watch my previous video. You will get to know what exactly loop work. Now I will define my variable. So I'm going to take now i want to set my name here so my column will be name and my second will be games so first i need to define how we need to write name then we need to move to game so i will take set cell set cell is like setting what exactly we need to write specific shell I don't want to give specific cell currently because I'm going to start with a1 I have already defined a1 so here I need to take the active cell but the cell value where we will get the cell value we need to keep the variable name what variable name where we have previously defined in the message tab that variable name we need to take it's file data column and we need to press 1 because the first column is name I set my first column then I need to see first define then I move to right what I need to take again I need to take go to cell mm, specific cell I don't want here I am going to take one cell right because it will move to one cell right and there we need to set what the value we need so again we need to take set cell let it be active cell because we are already defining one cell right so here we need to give the second variable it's two Here is my second variable. Now the main tricky part is like how we can go down and put the remaining data. It cannot be done by passing these two because it will only paste these two. What we need to do is we need first we are going from here to here. Then we need to go here. But we can't come from game to this corner. It doesn't have any hard coding programs. We cannot use these features. 
what we're gonna do we're gonna go down one tab then we will start from the beginning then it will again it will come here go down then it will go down start from the beginning we'll take go to cell one cell below specific cell i don't have to give we'll save it and now my next part again i need to take go to cell We'll take beginning of the row which will define that every time the bot will finish it will start with the beginning now the main thing is that we need to close the spreadsheet i want to save the spreadsheet and i want to close the spreadsheet here is my entire coding so i just need to run and see the result Now we'll go and see See we have extracted this data from the notepad See match with this data everything is been extracted from the text file and put it into excel file so this is how we are extracting data like in csv or text file so in my upcoming videos we'll come up with some new scenarios with some new live scenarios in after some time but as of now thank you and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you once again